Hello, how's it going? So this is part 3 on a tutorial on OpenAI's game integration tool. So as you can recall, part 1, we saw how to integrate NHL 94. In part 2, we saw some additional examples like a Super Hang-On for Genesis, Tetris for Game Boy, and Virtual Fighter 2 for Sega Genesis. So we saw uh, various types of games. In part 3, we're going to see how to do a custom reward function. Because as you may have noticed, the up until now, the reward functions we use are pretty simple. They are uh, rewards directly mapped to values read in RAM. So this works. This may be effective for simple games such as uh, shoot them ups and uh, even fighters, fighting games. But for more complex games like uh, Initial 94, where the the reward might be uh, the real reward for scoring might be rare. Uh, we need a lot of intermediate uh, rewards to reach that, that big reward. And uh, thankfully, Initial Lane 4 provides some, uh, some stats like shots, uh, face-off 1, body checks, and many more. Like uh, if you saw the video on machine learning versus uh, Initial Lane 4, so we, we integrated uh, a bunch of variables, much more than you can see uh, right now on the screen. Uh, but that's not enough, actually. Uh, for example, the... The shots are from anywhere from the ice rinks. So, as soon as you, sh if you, sh if the, the AI shoots from his own zone and reaches the goalie at the other end of the ice rink, it's gonna earn a point, which is which is not very good because you want to reward high quality shots. Like shots from the from your zone is not. Uh, there's a very little chance of scoring. So if you give reward for that, uh, it's uh, you have a lower chance of uh, of learning correctly. So. Ideally, you want to have a reward function that rewards shots from the attack zone and uh, from uh, you want to reward high quality shots. And uh, right now with this tool, uh, we cannot uh, we cannot do that. So thankfully, the OpenAI uh, integration tool uh, offers us to uh, override the reward function with a custom script, and in this case, a Lua script. So that's what we're going to do. But before we start, uh, I just want to point out that there's um, various other games that uses a custom Lua uh, scripts, such as Terminator 2, the arcade game for Sega Master System. So they basically they have a bug with the score, so they, they use a Lua script to, to correct the score. And the Sonic one for Genesis. So Sonic was, uh, as you may know, was used for the OpenAI's contest a while ago, a few years ago. So do you need a really a custom reward function for um, in order to have um, the contest they want, uh, and um, and with different uh, set of uh, parameters for the, um, the different zones in the game. So you can see that as examples. If you want to um, to have your um, your own, you want to to make your own script for for uh, the, the game you want to integrate. But today we're gonna see uh, the one for NHL. 94, but the uh, the one on one uh, hack, the the one on one ROM. So um, the script we're gonna do is gonna is it would work with uh, NHL 94, uh, but I I chose to do it on the one on one ROM because that's what uh, I'm working on right now. So let's start uh, with a test script. This is just to test the the setup to see if it works. So basically, you create a script called testlua, and inside the script, you create a simple function called test reward, and it returns one. So basically, at every frame, it will return um, a reward of one, no matter what. And to be able to use that that script, uh, there's two ways. Uh, the first, I think, the first way is the um, if it, with edit scenario, you can load the script, your, your load your test script here. And after, select use script and select the function inside that script called test reward. But there seems to be a bug uh, with the interface, at least in my case. So I recommend not doing that. I recommend setting manually inside the scenario.json. So under the reward, you select your reward function, so because you're using a script, you set, you set script instead of your uh, the RAM values you've seen in previous uh, scenario JSON files. 
So you 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 set your function that you want to call here. In our case, it's a test word, so Lua test word. And of course, you tell it to um, load the script called test Lua test dot Lua. So once this is set, uh, you need to reload the the script. But I recommend reloading the game instead. to make sure and it automatic automatically reload the scripts so as you can see here cumulative reward is going to the moon because it returns at one every frame no matter what so if you train your AI with this it will be like a headless chicken but it's just to to make a test so now that we confirm that that uh, works we're going to use our real script so first about the script, I made um, offline. I made the script called um, script.lua. You can call the, the script whatever you want. So first, um, I create four variables, four global variables called uh, previous uh, p1 score, previous p2 score, previous p1 face off one, and previous p1 shots. So this is to store the previous score to see if it, the score changed because we need to see if the the I mean the value change in order to determine if there's a reward. So the our main function called initial 94 reward. And here we have a so P, P1 score reward will be P1 score minus the previous value of P1 score. So if it change, you're gonna have a delta of one and then you, you mul we multiply it by one. So basically if the the player scored that frame then uh, P1 score is going to return a reward is going to be one. Uh, same for P2 the player two score and face off one. If the player one and one the face off. Where it's a bit more complicated is for the um, the shots. So we don't want to give reward for shots that are from the other end of the ice rink. We want to give for quality shots. So in our case, quality shots is the is when the 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 player is when the player position the y player the position of the player and the y axis is a uh, above 150 so 150 is a uh, is um i'll show you where it is reset So 150 is around here. So if he shoot, if he takes a shot from uh, from here, it's okay. And I have to reach the goalie to count as a shot. So that's a simple case. Uh, obviously, we can uh, check a bit more variables, uh, like eventually, like for example, if uh, there, there's a player in the line of line of um, line of sight, line of uh, of shooting. Uh, or uh, we can check also the the y-axis if it's too far left too far right etc and uh, also we don't want to shoot from uh, too far down the, the attack zone but for now we're going to start with this uh, and after 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 it, uh, it checks if it's uh, above the 150 it's going to award uh, a reward if if the player took a sh uh, shot the goalie effectively so after that we just score the previous score so that the the global variables are um, are updated like same for face off one and uh, shots uh, tag zone we don't need it anymore should remove this Because before the, the first version of the script I did offline is I used the attack zone to see if um, the counter was in, was increasing then the, the shot was valid. But it's uh, it was not very accurate obviously because it's only increasing every second. And after we accumulate every reward and we return the, the value. So once you, you made your script, change it here. So our function name is initial. 94 and the script name is script. save 
that should be okay now we could do reload script but as i said it's it's uh, much better to reload the game because um, i think there's a bug with the, the refresh okay so we can confirm the reward is no longer updating uh, like crazy so that means we changed the, the script effectively and we can double check here so it's still use script the right function it's okay gonna remove the goalie so we can check uh, when the player 2 scores if it gives us a penalty okay so minus one seems it works reset okay Okay, so we took a shot, and uh, the as you can see, the we, we got um, a reward. But now we're gonna take an invalid shot. It's gonna be a bit harder. So from here, basically, it's gonna. So you see. Took a, normally this is a valid shot and uh, the score didn't increase. If we confirm with the the stats, okay. So it increased because it was above 150. So it works so it didn't it didn't um, increase this, the the war that's cool also I already tested when we score a goal so um, that works uh, we should do a bit more tests but to make this video shorter I'm gonna stop here so this is how to create the script uh, it's pretty convenient uh, also if Lua is not enough for you or you don't like Lua you can use Python by create a and uh, the environment wrapper to uh, to calculate your own reward uh, in Python. So the way it would work, you could add your um, your environment uh, wrapper here, and it should be similar to clip uh, reward environment the clip reward and the uh, wrapper. Or eclipse between uh, minus one and one so we can use this as a starting point should not be hard but i recommend uh, sticking to lua because this is how the every other game is uh, is implemented for now but if you really prefer python or you want something much more complex uh, with lots of functions probably python is a better choice so that's it uh, so ho i hope it was a uh, it was informative and if you have questions uh, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, write in the comment section down below uh, for as for the test of NHL 94 to see if it uh, effectively uh, performs better with the this reward function uh, this is going to be for another video in the machine learning versus NHL 94 uh, series so stay tuned thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and press the like button